Hello and welcome to CTV News Channel. I'm Lois Lee. Some breaking news now. Music icon Tina Turner has died at the age of 83. Turner died peacefully after a long illness in her home near Zurich, Switzerland. Turner, often called the queen of rock and roll, was one of the biggest recording artists of all time and a defining pop icon of the 1980s. She's, of course, known for smash hits like Proud Mary, What's Love Got to Do With It, and Simply the Best. Turner was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021. And joining us now for more is Michael Williams, music journalist. Uh, Michael, my goodness, yes. what a blow to the gut for so many people around the world today. Her songs yes. just live in so many of our hearts. Can I get your reaction to this news? Well, uh, I met her um, on her comeback tour. I remember... Um, Let's Stay Together had just come back out, and it was in Montreal, and she was doing a concert there that weekend at Jerry Park, long before they used Jerry Park for anything great other than sports, and uh, I remember there was a bit of a, a mud festival, if you will. Um, it, was, it was just bizarre. It was just strange, and she... Uh, in the rain, she performed, and it was fantastic, and everybody loved her, and that was just the beginning. What's Love Got to Do With It hadn't even come out yet. Wow. Um, and uh, the 45 were the British single done by Heaven 17, which was Let's Stay Together, a cover of Al Green's song, had just come out, and we were playing that pretty full tilt on the radio and looking forward to the record. And when we heard What's Love Got to Do With It, it was, it was pretty much so all over. It was between that and Private Dancer and the rest of the record. It was a great record, and uh, it was a wonderful comeback. And uh, I met her again at Much Music, and she came to me and said that she watched me in Italy and Switzerland and all over Europe, and she really liked Sold in the City. And uh, there was nothing better for me to get some praise and some time with Tina Turner again. An incredible performer, an incredible woman. Uh, she really show for the ladies that didn't know how to do it properly that might have missed billy holiday or aretha franklin she tied it all together did it properly killed and uh survived the worst and gave us her best she really so, did survive the worst and give us her best like you just said there talk to us a little bit more about her story uh what she went through and how she was able to overcome obstacles in her life well uh buddhism helped her a lot uh, when she became a Buddhist. I'm not sure if it was Herbie Hancock or whom told her about Buddhism. I think it might have been Herbie Hancock, but that helped her a lot. And she was going through what uh, a lot of the women in my family had gone through, uh, what all women have gone through, really. It didn't really matter whether they were black or white, but black women did have uh, a really difficult time, and she had an incredibly difficult time in the business that became the business. She was a big part of making it the business that it was, as well as Ike, who was a genius, but quite abusive. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she just went through so much, and the fact that she survived uh, just lets you know how strong she was, what kind of tenacity, what kind of bone she had, what kind of metal, what kind of steel was in her veins, along with that incredible soulful blood. She was beautiful, she was talented, and she never let it get to her, and she never shared that stuff with the audience other than in the film and the book. She came to perform. She came to entertain. She did that better than no one else. That's why Brian Adams and anyone would get on stage with her. Mick Jagger, David Bowie, everyone loved her to death. Uh, she taught us how to do it properly. And if you're a woman in the business, she definitely showed you the direction and the way if you were going to be on stage. And then later in her career, even, she showed you how to do it properly off stage too, taking care of her business 
better than anyone could. And Roger Davies, who was one of her managers, was just brilliant. He worked with Jack, Janet Jackson and a lot of uh, female performers. And he was just great to her as well. The team of her and Roger Davies, that's the team that brought her back to the number one place on the charts and to the platinum albums and everything else. But it was all centered around her and her performance and her steel. Just she somebody was just... Who definitely exuded that confidence in oh. in herself as a woman, as a woman as she aged, owning it, and uh, really showing people, like you said, Michael, how it's done. Michael Williams, music journalist, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much.